Barron then couldn't Rivers Dow. Dow just goes long into the pocket. Charlie's there. Charlie flies. Charlie will have a second look. Long kick to Lingy. Found Fogarty and now a huge chance. Akers could play off. Cozzy picking brilliant. Got there. Very few others would have had the speed to do it. Hollands wobbles one into the corridor. What a mark that is. Hamble in front of Chandler was good. He thought about Newport and clever play from Chandler. Can they get one right against the flow of play here? Petrarca just shoveled the handle over the top. Back to Chandler. Melksham's a known goal kicker. Takes on the tackler. Langdon's worked super hard. Remarkably, it's going to be a goal apiece. Viney directing traffic. Meanwhile, puts it in front of Milksham. He's got the overlap on. Sidestep, kicks, bouncing ball. Tricky enough in the end, but they get it done. Chandler gets the demon second. Go. Towards Neil Bullen, Wietering, muscled out, got a hand on to it. Cozzy Pickett picks it up. Lovely ball to Petrarca. Umpire shuffles, but not too much. Demons get their third, Track gets his first, and they lead by eight. Unusual to see Van Royen missing 22-5 from set shots coming in tonight. 0-2, Cripps had the running Hollands. Dangerous, brilliant ball to Martin. Saw it. It's nine seven for the year. Never, ever missing. Who won a friend inside 50. Plenty providing options. Motlock. Play on. From 55. Puts it to a dangerous spot. Akers. Marks directly in front. 25 out. Blues are in front of the G. Carlton overloading with the talls down the line here, but that kick's not going to get there. They had Pitnet to Koning and Kerno. Doherty to Hewitt, onto the left to Kerno. A little bit too far out, but that kick is 13 out of 10. Always finishes. Blues, they go berserk. They pinch a lead. Which is pretty remarkable. Bit of individual brilliance. She described Daisy from Charlie Kerno. Chandler, these. Searching for the quick reply, Sparrow, open goal square, Pickett's going to guide it through. Brilliant effort from Sparrow. And that outer side, outruns Langdon, the rain starts to come again, does it face Kerno. Strong hands in front of Stephen May. Now Kerno again, that low ball, top of the square. De Koning has it knocked away, Max Gorn wasn't clean. De Koning, little handball, Bowie, he wasn't. Jockey was. How's that? Four goals in about four minutes of football. They're up against the quality outfit here tonight. They Langdon tracking that wing. Beautiful kick. Oh. He already spent it. Had to go back and pick it up. Twice to turn. March back inside out. Van Royen. Petrarca finding his own teammate. And the track got it. Extended layoff with a hamstring tendon issue. Akers has been not more. That he can handle all Melbourne because he's picking all over it. Stand. Loves to play on quickly. Saw Bracer at the corner of his eye. Pitna did well. Petrarca, the tackle from Hollands was pretty strong. Langdon Spearing kick brilliant to Neil Bullen. For the D's, difficult shot. Good lucky Evan, better than good. Alex Neil Bullen takes his moment. Now trying to guide it back inside 50, crashing through Hollands. Dees get back with numbers. Hollands really well done in front of Owies. Flying shot. Owies. Simply brilliant. Super finish from Owies. Brayshaw has it knocked away. Here comes their leader to Dow. Fogarty waits for it to settle onto the right boot, floats the ball forward. Again, the Blues have got the right answers this time. De Koning steps out. Only five for the year. 
He stabs at it, but he stabs it through. Back to back goals. So Daisy Vine in more possessions than anyone on the ground. Disposal number 27 to Coney. Manhandle Vine, it's another free kick. Rocky Hunter with his trademark underground disposal. Oh, Kemp! Brilliant effort. Win contests tonight. Big ball here. So often it's Viney who wins it. Hunter couldn't quite find Salem, so the Blues are away again. This time, Cripps' delivery spot on to Charlie Kerno. Kick the first goal of the evening. Charlie's got two. The Blues have got a three goal lead. Goes towards full forward. Sparrow's kick. Knocked down by Chincotta. Kemp is there too. Little kick. Have a look at that. Cozzy. Back to two goals. And that was a non-controlling umpire about 60 metres who decided it was Davis. Joel Smith with a big mark. So now wearing his father Sean's number at Melbourne. Joel Smith has leant back on it and nailed it. Back to within six points. From behind Melksham, the genius of Petrarca spills out the path of Ed Roy. Brady Grundy, he's had a muck down. Can he be the hero here in Langdon? Take him without a play on to call. Ben Roy and oh, the tackle pressure again. Alex Ginkata that time. Attacking football, Van Roy on the fly, so to a heap of blues. On the end of it is Newman, kicks hurriedly, Salem crosses the arc, kicks, goes long, falls short. Misses him, ends up with Rivers, Rivers sidesteps Charlie. Rivers goes low towards the forward 50, and suddenly Petrarca, who's a thumping kick, buys himself a metre or two. He kicks it long, it's really long, I don't think it's been touched. Petrarca has produced something from just on the 50, and the umpires will talk about it. Score review, umpire's call is touched, one behind. Please make sure it was touched inside the field. Thanks, Matt. Review complete, looking at these angles, there is insufficient evidence to determine if the ball is touched, decision on the scoreboard. Four-point game, 41 seconds to play. So now they've got to kick the ball long and wide into numbers. It's going to come back with May. 24 seconds. Can they take a mark? Max Gore nearly got it. Beautifully done back there to Akers. Precious seconds tick off. It's going to come back again. 12 seconds and counting. Lever's going to send it back. They've got to get a mark. Look at the pack. It's a Leo Barry moment. Hewitt. To Newman and Cubb will hang on and win their eighth game in a row. Have a look at the Cubb fans at the MCG. They last played finals in 2013. They're on their way, you sense.